Real Reviews here and I got another video for you guys and today it's a king size bed. I'm going to do the full installation, the final look, the sturdiness and if you should buy it. So this right here is the Life Home, which is the name, Life Home Premier Classics cloth color is the light beige cream linen 51 inch headboard full bed and I'm gonna be doing a review on it today if you guys haven't seen my channel please subscribe I really appreciate it I do all kinds of reviews on furniture cars uh, new electronics um, I have the video doorbells the nest if you guys are interested in that if you guys have anything else you like me to review please comment below and please give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it guys so on this bed right here it's a great value and I bought it on Amazon and I went to the large uh, box stores that do the furniture and everything was around seven to twelve hundred dollars for the exact same bed I'm telling you right now this is a third of that and if you guys go on Amazon uh, they did not give this to me for free um, that's a disclaimer I paid for this fully so and I'm gonna do a review like I do on everything else for you to see how easy it is to put this together if it's a great buy so they come in three different sizes on Amazon the full the queen the king and uh, they come in three different colors they come in the black linen they come in the gray silver linen which is like a lighter uh, gray uh, color not charcoal but a little bit lighter than that and this is the light beige cream linen and it's a very great color very light if you want something to light up your room uh, we're gonna change around uh, this is the old furniture if you can see the charcoal or the dark gray color end table right there bedside table we're gonna change that possibly a glass two glass tables on the side to make it look a little bit nice and contemporary and modern so we're changing that around so this is the tall headboard platform bed so this comes with all your slats, no bed spring needed, none at all. So let me kind of get into it now. It comes in two different boxes. So it comes in two boxes, and one of the boxes from, uh, this is a prime item too, so easy returns if anything is wrong. It comes in two boxes, which is the headboard, and the slats, and two of the larger uh, support beams for the side so they're they're not that heavy I took it apart in the garage because uh, it had some st uh, styrofoam in it I didn't want it to get all over the bedroom so uh, very easy um, came really quick and that's really important we bought a new mattress you can't see it, it's right there uh, I did a couple uh, Tempur-Pedic mattress reviews and if you guys are interested in Tempur-Pedic please subscribe see my other videos I'm about to do another video on the Tempur-Pedic cloud supreme bed and uh, so to get into it um, also if you can see that there is a little bit of velcro oh and here's a piece so a lot of pieces actually came in the back of the headboard so this is one of the legs for the headboard so before we start going on the first thing you want to do is make sure you velcro the back very sturdy so it doesn't come apart and there's no issues because you're not going to have a chance unless you're going to be moving the bed around a little bit with the installation so that's the first thing you want to do is do that so make sure you line it up and get it all velcroed up So the back of the headboard looks smooth. And you won't have any sounds. Okay, so to get into it now, the kit actually comes with a with an Allen key, uh, a little wrench, and all the screws needed. But I'm using, as you can see, a Milwaukee. I'm trying to make this quick for you guys. If you're going to use 
a driver or a drill make sure it has torque settings on it one two three four five that won't break the screw into the bed as you can see that noise right there it stops it so I'm using an Allen key is the T30 so that's what you're going to be using this is a Milwaukee size a T30 I'm using a Phillips screwdriver bit and a half inch bolt driver nut driver now let's look at the pieces let me grab the screws and this is the set that kind of comes with it Ooh, lost the washer it comes with one inch two inch and four inch bolts if you can see right here it also comes with two sets of washers one the larger one is a 22 uh, centimeter by 5 16th hole comes with a spring washer comes with a 19 centimeter by 5 16 hole comes with a bunch of screws that's for the slats and uh, half inch bolts and the two keys so you don't really need a driver you can do everything here um, I just don't want to spend a lot of time using the ones that are provided it takes a long time to put it together if you're going to be doing everything by hand again this bed is great you don't need a box spring and it is a platform bed but it's not a full platform bed it doesn't sit on the top it actually has a little recess gap of about an inch an inch and a half that it sits in so the mattress doesn't move around so that's a great thing as well so I put my first bolts together as you can see every bolt almost every bolt has a spring washer and uh, the, this is the large washer so when you're doing the legs I'm going to tell you this make sure there's two of these make sure this little gap on the side covers the end of the of the headboard so if you're going to put it together when you put it in make sure this little gap goes on the outside instead of the inside so now let's find the holes and put put this in you're going to need the t30 for this one this is the allen and that's that i'm going to hit the other side and this is the the four inch bolt with a spring washer and the 22 centimeter spacer so the medium sized bolt in the box so once that's done we're going to take the headboard and we're going to actually place it against the wall so now you can see the color a little bit better and you're gonna place it against the wall or even on the floor we're gonna flip it like this let's see if you can see it let's move the camera a little bit up so you can see it a little bit better so now that that's attached what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the leg support beam and that's uh, the one that came in the back of the headboard and that's actually gonna go right here in between the two legs so kind of squeeze that through and for this you're going to use the small I believe yeah the small one inch bolts with a spring washer and the smaller washer which is the 19 centimeter one it's a little bit of a problem kind of getting into that space 
So, I might have to use the Allen provided. Actually, it was faster by hand. And then I'm going to tighten it up. So you can do it any other way if you have an elbow. Okay. Those are both in. Now do the other side, same way. They're loose enough that you can do it by hand, which is nice. Hopefully this is the only tight spot so I don't have to waste all this time. So I'm just screwing it in by hand if you can see here. Sorry my back was turned to you. Try to take the drill and tighten it up. Ports are in. I'm going to lift it up. And put it against the wall. So now you have a, a nice little look on how it's going to look. Let me raise it up for you. Just like that. Very pretty. And I haven't even put the sides on. Great looking bed. Okay, so now, if I can find the foot, we're going to grab the base. And here's the base, and you can see the base right here. And it comes with, it comes with the two legs. So, Whatever leg is going to be seen by the door, as you can see right here, see if you can see a little better. There's a little bit of damage on it, but this one looks good. So I'm going to put this one just on the side that's going to be more visible than the other sides. So let's start on that. So if you're going to think about it, this baseboard is going to be flipped the other way. So I'm going to put the, the good leg on this side. And there's actually a space. All you got to do is just... So I'm going to be doing is uh, just screwing it in by hand. And do it on the other side as well. Very easy, very quick. This is the third step. We finished the first step was attaching the legs. The second step was attaching the support. The third step is putting in the legs. And like I stated, this one had a little bit of damage. I'm going to put it on the side you can't see when you're coming into the room.
both legs attached. And now let's move to step four. So if we look at the three steps we have here, we have step one was attach the legs. Step two is attach the support. Step three is atta attach the legs. Now let's go to step four. Step four is actually attaching the sides. So those would be the, the footboard and the side rails. We're not at the wing backs yet. So if you see the pictures online, you'll know what I'm talking about. So let's start attaching it. And it's actually very easy. Let's move the footboard and place it in position, which is right here. And find all the screws needed to attach that. If you can see on the footboards, it actually comes with the metal already attached. And with the metal right here, all we're going to do is flip it to the side we want it on. So basically, it would be with the wood on the higher side. If you can see right here, this is where we're going to attach all the slats to. What we're going to need to do for this is actually screw in a couple of the bolts so it can hold on to. So what we're going to see here is these are the smaller bolts. The one inches. It comes with the, the spring and the smaller washer. If you can see right there. So I'm going to grab four of them. I already put all the bolts and washers on beforehand. And I'm just going to put it in a little bit. on the other side very quick and easy make sure the bolts are straight and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this board right here and make sure the washers are behind the port so it's a little bit harder than I thought I'm gonna take it out a little bit the washers are in the way so I'm gonna take the bolts out a little bit and make sure you move the washers a little bit out twist it out and it slides right in There you go, you got the side rail right there. Attached, if you can see right there. Very quick and easy. I'll show you a close up of the other one. And this is we're gonna do the baseboard right now. You can see the metal piece right here where we're gonna slide in. But I'm gonna take the headboard and you gotta put two more screws in. Let me move all these little tools into here. So if you can see right here, I'm putting the two one inch bolts with spring washers in. I'm going to move this up like this and attach it. Make sure the washers are moved back. And that's the biggest problem I'm having is the washers keep coming up. And it's really hard to maneuver around them if they're in the back part of it. You 
move it all the way into the bottom position. Make sure it's level. And and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the other one so it does make it level so I have no issues. Let's move the camera on the inside so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the drill, I'm going to put the, the bolts in about that far. And this has the, the spring washer and the smaller 19 centimeter washer on it. I'm going to take the other board right here and move it towards the side I want it. I'm going to attach it to the bed. So it's level there. And this is where you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to move it. Make sure the washers, as you can see, the washers like coming towards the inside. And that's what I'm having a problem with. There we go. Finally, we got it right. So I'm going to hold it down, make sure it's so I'll attach, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. think it's screwed in all the way if you're using a power tool you can take the one that came with the L Allen wrench and tighten it up yourself so here is the frame of the bed that we have already so we can see a view of it right here so there it is and we are almost, we're about 50% done, but we have to move to step five. And step five is one of the longest ones. So let me show you what you guys have to do. Step five, you're gonna be grabbing the longer rail. This is the longer center rail, and we're gonna be attaching it to both sides. So what you're gonna to need to use is the longer two inch, the longer two inch screws right here, if you can see it, right there. We're gonna be using those, but without um, the spring washer. We're gonna grab three legs per side, right here and you're going to need 12 of the two inch bolts without the uh, the washer with the spring just the 22 in, uh, 19 inch washer you're going to need the bolts the half inch bolts you're going to need the little wrench to hold it when you screw it in And you're gonna need 12 washers as well. So let's see if you can see it, what I'm gonna be doing. So if you can see right here, I'm gonna put the one leg on the bottom. I'm gonna take the two inch washer, a two inch bolt with the washer, and I'm gonna put it right through. 
On the bottom, I'm going to actually put another washer. And I'm going to screw on the half inch nut. And do the same thing on the other side to keep everything horizontal with the pole. Put another washer on. And another bolt. I'm going to grab the, the little wrench, hold it right there. Tighten it up just like that. I got to do this with 12 more bolts and I'm going to continue doing that. So now let's grab the other leg and, you, and I'm going to show you when it's done. So you see I'm done with step five and with this step we attach the six legs which was 12 bolts, 12 nuts, 24 washers and uh, 12 of the spring washers. So now let's attach it to the bed and see how it looks so let's bring it down here and do a video install on how we're going to do this right here so i'm going to move the camera down really quick so you guys can see for this one right here you're going to use the larger bolts so this would be the not the largest but the two inch bolts these are the two inch bolts and with this you're going to need a spring washer and a washer you're also going to need four washers and four nuts. So let's put this together. It doesn't matter what side you're going to do it on. Just like this. You're going to put both the bolts through the holes. Put the washers on in the back. Make sure you have that little wrench they gave you. Tighten that up. Do the same thing for the other side. Washer and the nut they gave you. I'm going to tighten it up in the back. And these are the last of the four nuts you're going to use. The last of the four find my T30, put my little wrench in and tighten it up. Same thing for the other side as we did here. support beams and this is what's going to hold your your uh, bed in place so far this whole procedure has not been bad at all it's taking me probably under an hour so far maybe 35 40 minutes doing all this it came with a little prep work Make sure you put, uh, read the instructions, put all the spring washers on and the 19 or the 22 centimeter washers as well. Millimeter, centimeter. And that saves a lot of time. Make sure it's nice and level. that we're done with that we're gonna move on to the other side and this side's a little bit different and you're gonna see that in a second it's not the larger bolts it's actually the one inch 
So these are a little bit of the smaller ones. And we're going to be doing that one a little bit different. It doesn't have any of the nuts. Here's the one inch. It's got the spring washer and the smaller uh, flat washer. So we're going to do a straight screwing on that. Usually I wouldn't recommend screwing it all the way in just to make sure the other side goes in smoothly. But on this case, it went in nicely. I'm gonna make it even on this side as well. If you can see it right there. sides are in so now we're done with step six step six is completely finished now and now we're gonna move on to the wing backs and that's the sides of the headboard that we're gonna do right now so let me move the camera for you guys and the wing backs how you're gonna do that is you're actually going to move the bed from the back of the wall because you're going to have to get there. And this is where the longer 4 inch screws come into play. And with the longer 4 inch screws what you're going to want to do right here is just put a spring washer on and the larger 22 watt flat washer. And these are the long ones because they're going to go onto the bottom of the leg right there to attach the wing back. And the rest of it's going to go from the back. You're going to have to take off the Velcro again, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. All right, so let's do that. So I grabbed one of the wing backs, and that's the side of the headboard with all the little metal things. And I'm going to attach it to the side. You can kind of figure out what side the left and the right is on because you can figure out which holes go on which side. So I'm going to place this like this on the side, if you can see right here. And I'm going to put one of the longer bolts through the hole. Make sure it goes all the way through. You're going to see where it attaches to the wing back. I'm going to grab my screw right, uh, my drill right here, and I'm going to slowly attach it right here. So I'm not going to put it in fully because I'm going to have to get to the back of the headboard and I'm going to actually move the bed a little bit more don't want to break anything so and I'm going to move the camera for you guys to see So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Velcro and place it over. You can see some of the styrofoam in there. And you're going to see a couple holes on the back. And for this, all you're going to need to use, and these are the two inch, the two inch bolts with a spring washer and a larger flat washer that we're going to attach. We're going to put it through right here. And it attaches to the wing uh, to the wing back. Same for the side. It's very self-explanatory, but I'm just showing you how to do it. Do a couple twists so it's it's attached. Push it through. Hold it down. And then tighten the bottom. Ah! 
and the left wing back is fully attached as you see right here here's the back view of it the bottom was done as well tightened up and now we're gonna do the right side I'm gonna show you when it's finished finally we're on step 8 I put the wing backs on they're on and we're gonna show you a full one and now I grab the slats that come in it with the slats make sure you change your drill bit out to your Phillips bit because we're gonna be doing the screws for the slats the slats have a, a slight smell to them but I just took them out of the box that it came and now I'm gonna lay them out to see the length of the slats and we're gonna drill them on so this might be better with a two-man team instead of a one-man team but you can do what you can right so want to stretch them out make sure they're on the wooden boards make sure they're even and I'm gonna grab the screws that came in the box so here are the screws that came in the box you can see right there just simple wood screws and I'm going to take this far one all the way to the end and make sure it's pretty much even with the rest but make sure you're going to have enough room for the middle bolts just going to screw them all down and then you just even it up with the other side I'm going to skip every two but you can do it any way you want if you want all of them with holes you can do that as well Make sure they're flat so it doesn't affect your mattress. So the last one, make sure you fully stretch it out to the back before you put it down. So now I'm going to hit the other side, make sure everything is level. And I'm going to find the ones that have the screws. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it so you, can, you can't hear any creaking and moving and anything. And make sure they're all straight.
there's some loose ones. You can put the rest of the screws in if you like. But here's the final view of the bed. And it's completely finished. If you guys have any questions or concerns, if you guys want, you guys can do all the screws and all the uh, slats. This is the spacing between the mattress. It's about an inch, an inch and a half. So the mattress can't move around. What a beautiful looking bed. For the price, gorgeous looking bed. Way better. Here's the material. Looks great. And I don't think the video will do it justice. But this bed looks amazing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to have way more reviews coming up. Alright guys, thank you so much. Take care.